So hi dear Pisces, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a general reading for all the Pisces Sun, Moon, Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not uh, resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, this is a reading for the month of April and the third thing, this is not a love reading but whatever will come, I will just let you guys know. Pisces, the overall energy for Pisces people for this month is for the month of April. Let's see, we have the higher of it. Okay, your focus is going to be growing spiritually or in this commitment or long term partnership kind of energy. So overall focus areas is, uh, area is going to be on this commitment, long term partnership or this kind of energy of uh, spiritually uh, enhancing yourself. Okay. Okay. We are going to uh, clarify each and every card one by one. By, okay. In the recent past, you felt like lack of growth is there. Lack of growth, growth and expansion and creativity was there in your life. You were trying your best to figure out a way to grow in your life and, uh, and creative ideas and have growth and expansion and everything. But you were not able to do that. You felt some kind of blockages. Now, in the current energies, Ace of Pentacles. Now, a brand new opportunity is coming your way or you are creating something new, something brand new in your life, starting something brand new in your life. And this time, you are in this energy of, I'm going to make this work out. By the end of this month, we do see your ships are going to arrive. Something that you are waiting for or something that you are planning to do from a very long time, finally, you will be able to do that. Now, let's clarify these cards. Okay, honey, just give me this energy of honey, 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 you are my love. Mm -hmm. We will never ever ever be apart. Let's clarify the higher point. I know my singing is so good. You can't resist it. I it's okay. Let's clarify the higher point. We have the three of wands, the nine of cups, and the sun card. Brilliant! Finally, you will be in this energy of leaving the past behind, starting to love yourself, take care of yourself, being happy with yourself. And gaining a lot of clarity, truth and lot of spiritual insights. The sun card and the hierophant together is a very very good combination when it comes to spiritual insights and spiritual clarity. In some cases spiritual awakening also. You are going to get a lot of insights and lots of things that you are going to feel like okay something is changing in me. Something is changing around me and I am becoming happier and happier and clearer day by day. Wow this is good. This is really good. Now in the recent past, we had the Empress in reverse. Lack of productivity, lack of expansion and growth. You felt like there is nothing happening, but it's not like this. King of Cups, Two of Swords, a Fool card. Okay, because of your love life, because your love life was not stable. In some cases, you were not emotionally stable because you were confused about the path of love in your life. You were like, okay, what should I do? Should I, do, should I go that way? Should I go that way? Should I take the leap of faith? Should I wait for the person? What should I do? Because of that kind of energy, the, the lack of emotional stability and maturity in a situation, you were feeling this thing is kind of uh, unproductive. You were feeling a lack of things in your life, lack of uh, growth and expansion in your life, right? Especially in your love life might be. Now in the current energies, we have the Ace of Pentacles, a brand new opportunity is coming your way. Something very stable is on the way for you, something or someone. Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Oh my god. Let's see. We have the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Finally, you are going to choose yourself. Finally, you are choosing yourself, Pisces. I know it's very, very painful for you to walk away from something or someone. In some cases, it was some kind of unrequited or untold kind of love that you were feeling for someone you were caring for that particular person from a very long time finally you will be in this energy of walking away from something on someone or someone uh, there was something that uh, uh, something of being giving and giving and giving and not getting anything in uh, uh, return that kind of energy now finally you will be able to walk away from that kind of energy and walking towards a brand new love brand new love it could be a love opportunity or you are going to feel very, very overwhelmingly happy about this new opportunity, opportunity, new person, new situation, new workplace, whatever it is. Finally, you will be breaking your chains and moving towards new opportunities in your life. 
really good i'm so happy for you pisces by the end of this month we do see your ships are going to arrive something is going to come to fruition that you might be manifesting from a very long time something is coming to fruition here let's see the three of wands we have the knight of wands the knight of swords and uh, a, a six of uh, wands so i think uh, the thing that you're waiting for from a very long time suddenly out of the blue something or someone is going to come towards you and this time this person or this situation is going to be very successful and victorious for you now it could be possible that you might be dealing with two energies at the same time at the same time like out of the blue two opportunities will uh, like come at your door and you will be in this energy of which one should i choose but whatever whichever one you are going to choose that's going to lead you to success it's going to lead you to success and victory whether it's a love relationship whether it's a uh, uh, your job opportunities whether your career or money whatever it is whatever thing that you're waiting for to become successful in that kind of an in that uh, kind of uh, waiting period uh, whatever you're waiting for in whatever area of your life <laughs> that's going to come towards you unexpectedly suddenly right uh, or it could be like possible that the manifestation is not coming to fruition exactly the way you wanted it to be but it's coming to fruition and it's going to lead to lot of success and victory for you people that's really beautiful pisces i'm so happy for you let's see what is the guidance for you people just give me a second give me a second we have the two of wands of tower and the six of pentacles so uh, again again i'm getting the same thing suddenly unexpectedly you are going to feel the balance in your life that you are not feeling from a very long time so the universe wants me to tell you that you should wait a little more longer so suddenly unexpectedly everything is going to happen for you just you should just keep focusing on your spiritual insights and spiritual journey the more you are going to keep yourself happy and keep yourself in a positive vibration suddenly unexpectedly everything will start falling apart and from this falling apart kind of energy you are going to gain the balance okay in some cases it might happen that you are going to feel like everything is falling apart nothing is making sense to me oh my god what is happening but the universe wants me to tell you just wait for the right time the universe is on the way to create things for you that you really deserve and really really desire for just keep yourself happy in a positive mindset and uh, uh, whatever you are doing in your spiritual journey just please keep doing that okay so thank you so much for tuning in pisces i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste